A very special thank you to all the groups who participated in the Glow in the Dark nuclear disaster. Let's take a moment to look at their amazing displays before we get into the exercise. So I'm going to start with saying good morning. And uh, for you victims, uh, please see me for a landmark uh, for the first portion of the scenario. I have it uh, on me, and after we get through with this, I'll be handing them out. Uh, there is someone there waiting to help you uh, get into your position. And uh, I understand there will be fires and explosions and collapses and entrapments and falls and water hazards and confined spaces and more surprises. Uh, oh, I wanted to say, I'm sorry, my bad, I have to say this, this build, this phenomenal build that you get to play on today was built by Sam Darkheart and Corey Stoneshield. Stoneshield. These two cats came in here in a matter of two days, yes, Sophie, I'll get right to you, I, I guess, absolutely. These two cats came in here and in less than two days put this whole thing together, and as you get deeper and deeper into the build, you're going to be amazed. This is SL Builder Porn. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So, uh, kudos to uh, Sam and Corey for a most excellent build. Without further ado, Tersimus, if you want to give a brief on the uh, comms, uh, the podium is yours. And I'm going to start handing out the landmark to the victim. Thank you so much all for coming. Greatly appreciated. Have fun. Okay, so uh, in general, operating the radios is really simple. Just attach them and start with slash 11. Uh, just like you know it from any other random legacy radio. Um, nothing special about it. You don't have to set up anything. Uh, you can click on your radio and you get a menu where you can set your handle. Uh, but if in doubt, you don't have to. It will pull your legacy name when you are sending, unless you have set a handle. So don't stress yourself, slash 11, and there you go. If you send uh, the words radio check on that slash 11 that goes to channel 16, uh, you will get an automatic response there you see that everything works just nicely and you can all try that now and we spam the radio for a moment and you also see it's freaking fast that's all for me thank you as i was saying um first please exercise extreme caution on the airfield uh all ground traffic must yield to aircraft in motion and please come to a full stop before crossing an active runway uh, second, we do have a full refueling station available, complete with several of the uh, industry standard brands. Sorry about that, Ayla. Is that any better? Uh, located at the south end of the runway, uh, there is heli there's a helipad there as well as ground vehicle access. Um, our pull-through fire station does come with a complete load of HD and somber fire hydrants, so you are all welcome to pull through and fill up the fill up the tanks on your trucks. Uh, we do also have a full set of HD replacement foam, oxygen, uh, and other chemicals available that anyone is free to take. Uh, my last note is that due to limited availability of helipads, we ask that no group leave a helicopter parked on any of the airfield helipads for long term. Uh, please complete your activity at that time and then relocate so that others may utilize that space. 
Uh, thank you for your participation. And if anyone has any questions, comments, or concerns about the airfield, or if there's anything that I, I can do to make this more accommodating for your group, please send me an instant message. And now GDP in conjunction with SORT brings you a nuclear disaster entitled Glow in the Dark. Nuclear plant cooling issues are just the beginning of this one. Be prepared. We have cooked up a good one for you this weekend. First responders will sizzle as the nuclear plant threatens the world with a cataclysmic meltdown. Was it an accident or was there foul play? Is this a terrorist act, and if so, are they still present? All agencies mutual aid call on this one, 